Established in 1978, the Center for Latino Progress, or CPRF, provides education, training, leadership development, and other services to help advance the overall socioeconomic conditions of the Latino community. For the next few minutes, we'll discuss how fostering individual and community growth creates economic opportunities for all. I'm Nathan O'Leary for Comcast Newsmakers at the Kent McRae Television Studio at the University of Hartford. And Janelle Tyrone, CEO of the Center for Latino Progress, or CPRF, joins me. And Janelle, welcome to the program. Thank you for inviting me, Nathan. Can you explain a little bit about the history of the center? And was there a particular need for the center when it began more than 35 years ago? Actually, it has been the same need that was 35 years ago. We have it today, and it's that we have a growing Latino community. Uh, back then, it were 46,000 in the city of Hartford, twice as much today. And uh, they needed uh, resources that we have been able to uh, assist with, for example, uh, training, uh, ESL, uh, services that had to reach the services that are in the community that are important to them, um, integration in the community, and now not only we have those Latinos of 35 years ago, we have new Latinos that are coming from Central and South America that need immigration services. So recently, two years ago, we build the capacity to provide legal immigration services and we are accredited by the Bureau of Immigration Appeals, the federal government, to provide those services. We are the only Latino agency in the state of Connecticut that is accredited by the BIA. Why is this work so important when you talk about providing all these services? It is important because the Latino community is the future of Connecticut. Connecticut is one of the oldest states in the nation, number eight. And the Latino community is the youngest community of all in the state of Connecticut. So we want to make sure that we are investing in that community because when we invest in the community and they prosper, the whole state prosper with them. So we all, we may have a different heritage, but we, are, we share the same future. And investing in that community is investment in Connecticut. Now you have adult and you also have youth programs. Mm -hmm. um, can you talk a little bit about those who are seeking those services and, and what they'll experience? Well, the adult programs um, are programs that we provide what is con non-contextualized learning. So it's, in other words, English with a purpose. So we recognize that people need to come and learn English but we also recognize that they need to pay the rent. Okay. So we cannot go into a long educational program with years to learn the language, takes years. So we provide uh, English-focused learning so with a trade. So that way they can go and quickly find a job, continue their education because they need to continue their education in a short time. Now, we also provide young, uh, programs for young people. And our community, unfortunately, is the community that with the biggest uh, educational gap and going to institutions of higher learning, uh, the dropping out. And we have fantastic uh, programs during the summertime. They come to our program. Uh, they come and learn about how to be a good employee resume writing, and so on. So this uh, younger, sometimes uh, young person cannot go directly to college, but they learn the skills to be able to be employed until they are able to go to college. Great, thank you so much for joining us and telling us about your program. Thank you to you for giving me this opportunity to talk about the Center for Latino Progress. Thank you, and thank you for joining us for Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Nathan O'Leary.